Hey guys, Alice uh, by Pirate Tina here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Man, that's goddamn strawberry. And welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. I know you guys are grabbing to the two videos of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's just say that the updated was kind of tiring. And. The, um, I need to sort myself out from Heart Wizardry World, Harry Potter Book Club, well, club, fan club, and, um, Wizardry World, well, Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy. Just give me a minute, I'm just gonna make myself a drink, cause I don't know why. I'm such a. Oh, well, well. Eh, yeah, just in case. I'll put it right here in case. Well, maybe I should sit on the ground again because so what was I oh yeah then but I started to reconnect it it says sorry we can't let you go and it was like it, oh wait, maybe I forgot one more thing. So I went to the applications, turned that off, and boom. Hopefully it worked. I hope so. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Terms begins on 1st September, primary. Supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the degree of the for the reasonable restrictions of underage sorcery, sorcery my bad, prohibits the magic the uses the use of magic but those under the age of 17 outside of school, outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the Sultan ceremony. Sorry guys, it's just up, cause uh, Let's just say that the strawberry soup tastes a bit of wine. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Okay. Why is it a bit dark? I don't know idea why. Um. Yeah, you know what? Uh, just kind of fine. Oh. I think I don't have no freaking idea. Just give my character a bit brighter. Uh, I think that's it. I don't know. Mm -hmm.
Do we need to do that? Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's how much it is. It looks like, uh, that. Uh. See, a uh, scar's completion. Hmm. Let's see what they look like. I'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> uh, I already have a scar on my arm, so... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna be self pit. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. But first, uh, oh, never mind. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks.
caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also oh, a remarkably stop it. intuitive Go on. and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Man's Rock, Goblin's Rebellion, Trig of... Or... Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ran Rock really is. Sorry. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. my cards like two plus? Is that you? <laughs> and it was <laughs> your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam, how? Okay, I hope I did sign in in case I need to know. Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me by her or Professor Fing no lost his wife. I felt bad for him. But she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Dragon! Oh! Are you alright? Uh, uh, You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. No, well, maybe I'm more right with this style. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> Where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. It's true. But first, um, I need to sort of the lie out. Because I can't see a thing. That's the thing. Um... Home cinema. Oh, 
Oh, yes, no wonder why. Alright, um. Just check it to make sure. died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Let me look at my car so real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Mind your step. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic I don't know where she came into possession of the port key but I am certain it was to do with that search ah oh, there's the path down below this way oh professor Fink and I have traveled the port key to a remote cliff side of in the Scottish Highland Sir, we need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect that the more porky from the wizarding world meant to lead us to the good it could do but magic is no different than any power what really matters is the one who wields it you know what? I didn't see that part just right now Ice. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Hey. Hi. Excellent. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, thanks. Hi. That is a bit rougher than I'd expected. Thank you. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're welcome. First time playing though? Yeah. That's just sad I locked in because, um, you know, the account of Harry Potter's website, just in case I need to play it. And now I did. I Which is a coin. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's catch up with Professor. I don't want him to get lost. We're close now, it's just ahead. Are you a Harry Potter or a Fantastic Beast fan? Steady yourself! Repair so, yeah. Big fan. What's your favorite chapter of Harry Potter? And why? Almost there. Bowling you behind, Professor. Bowling you behind, pal. I mean, sir. Good question. was a noted seer. Interesting. I was looking at my character for a minute. I'm not sure if I make shoot the right nose. Well, right, let me see. Uh, it'll be alright.
that enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Thief! Ah, uh, look away. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. Professor Fing and I have trouble via Porta Key. Oh, yeah. What in Merlin's name? Wake God the goblin. Where are we? I don't believe it. While searching through a ruined castle in the Scottish Highlands, I upon a strange glowing doorway made of crystallized stone but when suddenly professor Fing and i found ourselves in an ornate vestibule we remain unsure of what we will find hello Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> what happened here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. You have Vault Number Twelve, Annie. I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. In your street. No, I don't. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. Hi. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was 
was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Last time this fort was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. I got it. Monitor means fan bots and trolls. It's an annoying thing by capturing you in your chat. I'm not sure if it's free or something. Anything? Oh, what do thank you, you Alice. You thank you. I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault Twelve indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Good girl, troll. <laughs> Fucked us in there. <laughs> That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Um, hmm. I'll do it when I stop recording. Oh, will be nice. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. All right. Um, uh, give me a minute. Does it do anything? Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay, but I don't know why my uh, character and you, Professor, were so quiet. Um. What are you on? No wonder why it's not working. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Where the... Lumos. No, no why do I start? This is what we need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of After test? entering the vault, we quickly I realized do. that it was an empty. I saw say. a glowing symbol Stack on the hidden door. The same no symbol from the poor key container. But we tried to open the door. We suddenly found ourselves with teleport, transported into a vast expanse of darkness. We believe we're Still in Grinscott, 
but this is certainly no ordinary fault. It looks like ahead. every wizard and witches made the turtle. Huh. Let me. That's last time I tried that. I was really difficult to the second one. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Let me take by position. I think I am in the right position. Hold and tap. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I'm on my own this time. I have to stop right now.
touch you. Oh boy. Where are you? Ah. There's a poor key statue. I heard the name. in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let 
bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the okay, key. Okay, that global car reminds me of Bobby. Is it Bobby or Bobby? It is Bobby. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic where are we <laughs> it can't be it seems those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here come we have a sorting ceremony to get to. Come in, guys. <laughs> I'm in. in. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to look at the website. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, well, it took a while to load. Okay, Gryffindor. the sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment 
I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Sorry, we're late. Uh, <laughs> we have a big issue. Yeah. Yeah. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Okay, courage and bravery. I don't know yeah, if I'll that. Get in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I can't wait to start. I can't wait to explore. That's kind of both. But, uh. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally what? daring. Undaunted by the unknown. How does it know how brave for Oh alone, my god. Must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. You cheeky Better be Gryffindor! <laughs> oh, and he also got out like, oh, Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Okay, you don't need to be rude. Just because it's their first day doesn't mean you have to be rude to them. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. <sighs> as I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Thank you. Does that mean I have to follow you? It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. 
Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? Well. The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for why your is gonna <laughs> Why is gonna Why Thank you, Professor Weasley. I was gonna You're say welcome. why. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Why is there a tunnel? I never seen a tunnel in my life. That's the thing. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts. Nice. Yo. Hello, welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Where do you have? Oh, why is it I already know where I'm going. Suffer. Yeah, thank you. Well, this. Uh, see? Your first run, the. Yeah. Now, which way is the common room? Whoa, look at the Gryffindor's room. Whoa. What's that? Whoa. Cool. Oh, found it. Introduce yourself to Cressidia, Gareth, and Nelly. Okay. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. I still can't believe that girl. Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Um... It, it's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Mm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has what do you no were five? How I got Dang! There. But... With all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. 
I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Bye, Nelly. Okay, now it's Gareth. Where is Gareth? Which one is Gareth? Uh, I'm not hungry, I already ate apple. <laughs> have a sip. Go on. I think it's Professor Weasley's son, isn't it? I don't you know. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig were all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fix. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Oh, no view. Okay. That must be nice. <laughs> must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, I've got ten followers. Well. Thank you. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference fundamentally between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my uh, creativity as much as you might think. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Thank you. Okay, now is Cassandra. Chris? Cressana? Cressana? Still not working. Ugh. Sorry, my badge, my uh, charges just died for us. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a compliment. Come on, let me see if it's charging. Yeah. Hell, I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is you are HP to do back. Just then? Yes, I oh, am. Like, yes. not long ago. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Okay. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. So and am I. if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Thanks. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. I'm not going to lose any more sleep over my potions of everything. Good 
Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Hey, by the way, I now, have to ask something kind of off topic. Us sure, what's wrong? You'll need to catch I mean, what's up, up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Ah. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. What's here this? Oh, the book. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of you. Yeah, so you here. want to any customized stuff. You would be wise to take you. full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer you any my question. Who does that? Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic right. and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Okay. We um, where is that? Revelio. This portrait, despite the wizard buff barf 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 you fellow yo fame for his brain exler, and as an example, of what happens when education are properly spoken? He said once S instead of F, and found himself on the floor with the buffalo on his chest. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Oh, I got four po wing wing and her weld potion. Nice. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall.
bring that one down to nine. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh. There is, in fact, or I'm afraid there isn't. Uh. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak Hi. of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies.
It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Let's see, I need to go to charms class first, and then... The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Hi. <sighs> Guys, give me the name. I already know. So, la 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 Class. Sorry.
nice to see you, my young friend. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. A a bit we sometimes have to remind him to finish the left. They lost. <laughs> There's an open seat here. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Yeah. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Uh... Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. Thanks a lot. Why, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning uh. charm? Mm. Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Check first. That is not bad. You, you are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Oh, the user. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Well, 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? Okay. Which one am I gonna click? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could be talking about theory all day, but that's it! Very good! Splendid! That's good, that's good. I'll take it. <laughs> Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yep. Yes, sir. Stop, 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 stop! Not to worry. Let us see this. There we go. Does that mean I have to play again? Sir? Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Hmm? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go! That is how it's done. It happens to the best of us. Sorry. Both of you, well done. <sighs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out.
Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A word if, if you you're would. so inclined. Well, right here. you'd be using it on clothing. You wanted to that. speak with me, Professor. You know it I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. <laughs> Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. What is? First class student. Okay. Let's go to here. It was like outside of the charms room, yes? Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello, Samantha. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay, where was I? Oh, yes.
Okay, I'm here. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <sighs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Feathers. Oh, I... Let's try something a little larger. Oh boy. <laughs> That's what I thought was I laid it on the table. <laughs> the table burp. <laughs> okay, now let's, let's do this. Let us begin with the basic cost. Okay. What am I? Scene. I don't know what. Deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Ah, oh, okay. A surprised opponent is a weak. So, now the basic cast. <laughs> Very good, but 
Right. The best way to practice is by dueling. What? We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. That was quick. This should be easy. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing left me about it. Class, I hope you were paying attention. That is how you talk to the news. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do jump life you. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank, Thank you. you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Yes! All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um. It was. Yeah, it was my first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Wait, where's the chest? I'm just gonna take a quick quest. This is the last quest, and then I'm done.
What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Hmm... Uh... <sighs> no, Professor? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. <sighs> Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You used your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. Want to get to know about Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay, looks like I gotta save it here. Huh. No, just sorry. Just trying to uh, save it, but fortunately, I don't know how. Oh yeah, 
sense. Safe. Here we go. I think I'll leave it here. So, man, that was the time of quick. So, thank you for so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna post this on YouTube if you want to rewatch it again, or if any of you wants want to watch it, you can. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.